Well, this is, this is Caleb. Hey, Caleb. Okay. Hey. Uh, yeah, I hear you just fine. I just want to connect real quick and see, are we on the same page with these numbers? Because that didn't add up to any profit. Well, yeah, that's why I'm trying to see if there's even anything we can even do with that or what price would be more, uh, you know, would, would work out. Okay. If this is more of a buy and hold versus just, you know, I wouldn't think it would just be a fishing tip. It would definitely be more of a buy and hold and it turned into a potential Airbnb. Well, with the amount of that's capital kind of that has to go into it to turn it into an Airbnb, I wonder if that's that's a good deal. You'd have to refi or something like that. You have to bring a lot of cash to the to the table and then be able to refi into a jumbo loan, and nobody's going to do that for six to twelve months uh, of seasoning. Okay. So okay. I just look, I'm just it, curious where you're at. With yeah. Because obviously you have a lot more experience on that end. Yeah, I would expect this to be a uh, fix and flip more likely than anything else. Uh, what you might be able to do is the novation pitch, right, and say. Listen, what I've done for some people is a, a rehab and sell agreement. It's basically for the for the realtor. This is a net listing as far as you're concerned. I want to bring my rehab team and push it up to top spec so that we can put it on the market at top dollar. But there's still not enough profit in this for my team. So what can we do? That's what I originally pitched. Yeah, that's what I originally pitched. Okay, so I'm right right there because that's what I originally pitched. And I said, hey, you know what? Um you know, obviously your commission would be taking off the walk a walk away price. Would that be fair? And he said, yeah, that'd be fair. But I got to figure out if the seller is even, you know, willing to do the owner financing aspect of it. Well, is there a mortgage exactly on it? I believe there's still a mortgage on it, but I don't know what the mortgage is. Um, in regards to the rent, the monthly rent, that was actually pretty good. Um, and, and for that area, because in central Las Vegas, that entire neighborhood is, um, it's all custom homes and ranch style homes. So the lots are always pretty big um and that's a really like unincorporated las vegas is pretty much up and coming it's the newest jurisdiction that's going to be allowed to airbnb in vegas yeah it's yeah starting to July 1st, which is why i was kind of heading towards that direction yeah i think i think the thing to tell the seller is look if you're having trouble selling this and if you really want to sell it what again you got to go back to disqualifying cash realtor and keeping it so you, you've got it on the market with a realtor. Is that working for you? Now, I'm not trying to cut a realtor out. I'm I'm happy to pay homeboy his commission for whatever because we, we met through this. But if something's not working out, if a cash offer's not working, which obviously it's not because nobody's going to buy it without a pretty significant discount, which you don't have to take. Uh, you don't have to give that discount. Then if, if the realtor route really isn't turning up people who are ready to pay the price that you need, um, and keeping it isn't an option for some reason, which I would like you to explain to me, then, then, then what do we have? You, you don't have many options. What I can do is pay top dollar, but you got to give me enough time to do it. Is that a discussion you're willing to have? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was just making sure I was in the right track then. Yeah. And then the question goes down the line of, you know, in order for me to build a solution, because this looks like a problem, right? You're not selling it for the price you want. I can solve that problem, but I need to understand what is it you're going to do with the money. I'm not prying into your life. I'm trying to understand the business deal here because you're you're obviously wanting the money for some other purpose, and that's fine. But if we understand that, hey, you know what? I only need X dollars up front. Then I can structure a deal around solving your problem. You need to sell the house because you need to capture some capital, but then you want top dollar for the house. So then we can figure out a win-win where I take over the property and get you top dollar, and you get to do whatever it is you're trying to do next. Right. The conversation I'm having is with the realtor, so obviously I can't go around that realtor. Since from the MLS. You can ask for a three-way call. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Absolutely. Yeah, tell tell the realtor, look, mm -hmm. I, I'll use you for all this stuff, for everything here. I only mm -hmm. met the seller because you exist, right? So credit to you, but the negotiation here... Mm -hmm is if he wants that top dollar price, he's got to, I have to work with him to find a way to do that. Right. And if what if he's not willing to, the, the realtor, if he's not willing to three-way and say, hey, no, I'd rather you talk to me instead because obviously realtors are... Then, then that's what you get because you're dealing with realtors, and that's why I don't deal with realtors. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. Let me try that solution. Uh, I'm just glad that we're on the same page. I didn't know if there was any other solution that you would have probably come up with, but I feel I feel confident in that. 
Thank yeah. you. I appreciate it. And if you, if you mm -hmm. want me to get in that conversation three way with the seller and the realtor or whatever, I'm happy to do that. Cause that's, if that's your, that's your milestone, your next goal is to achieve contact with a, a three way call basically. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then um, just to touch base with the follow up on that, on um, the other property. Uh, so I talked to my partner, my partner said that the lender that referred it to us, he said that the seller is still going to try to move forward with trying to refi the, or try to get another loan with that lender or another lender or whatever it is. And then we'll follow up once that doesn't happen, which I think, which is probably going to be that route. So I we come that time, given you know, given a little bit, few more days, and then he'll come back to us if if you know he can get that resolved. Okay. Well, the okay. De the details of the various deals just go in in one ear and out the other because I I talk about a lot of them. So uh, if and when that resurfaces, a quick refresher and we'll we'll pick it back up. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Thanks for the quick call. Thank you. Appreciate yep. it. See you. Have a good one.